surprise! The black car is mine! I don't see you! Price is gone! One such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank. Welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Mad Max. Now that was a pretty grisly intro, I must say. I am not quite sure how he was still moving about with a chainsaw in his head, but it happened. Anyway, I am extremely excited to be playing this game. I'm a huge Mad Max fan. I have been, been very addicted to the new movie, Mad Max Fury Road, and given the chance to roam around in the wasteland as Max and raise hell is a dream come true. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically raise some hell. Anyway, I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is going to be a let's play. We're going to play through the whole story, do all the side missions, and have a general look about. Uh, I don't know how quickly I'll progress, but, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get started. So, here we are, finally in the game. First of all, it looks pretty nice, and check this out. 
I've just noticed straight away. Now, I want to say this was part of the ocean, I'm guessing, because, you know, of all this dried out underwater flora, which is pretty cool. Always nice to see landscapes like that. And I just want to say this now, I am playing as Max Rokotansky. I believe that's how you pronounce his second name. That was probably the first and only time you'll hear me pronounce his second name in this series, so there you go. Just figured I'd get that out of the way now. Anyway, oh, look at that. Now, I have to say, my favourite theme is post-apocalyptic. Anything with a wasteland, anything with the fall of society, that type of thing, is right up my alley. And, as you can see here, this is perfect. So, first things first, I need to find water. And the dog's already found some, and he's drinking it. You get out, get out of here. There we go, filling up water. Lovely. Let's take a bit of a sip. The dog has led me right so far. Gotta find it. Oh, so the dog just buggered off, is that what happened? Oh crap, where did he go? Where did he go? Down here, maybe? Let's have a look. Look, that doesn't sound good. Well, I'm pretty sure that Lord Scrotus is alive, and we're gonna have to pay him back for kicking that dog. That's not acceptable at all. Oh, hello, hello, hello. for eating. That's you. Oh, was alike inside. The other gives birth. Start a blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please, don't kill Chum Bucket! Please! Hey! Chum Bucket. Because I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. Then Chum Bucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go stray. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is it gonna turn on subtitles because I didn't understand any of what that guy just said? The answer is yes, I am gonna put subtitles on. I'm also gonna be remaining fairly quiet during cutscenes so we get to experience all those wonderful Australian accents. And uh, yeah. All right, so that guy is Chum Bucket. I think we'll just call him Chum. Anyway, Chum's over here with the dog. Alright, what do I have to do? Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then, I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path! Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. I've seen a few trailers for this game and uh, gameplay, and I assume, in fact, Chum Bucket basically accomp accompanies you for most of the game, and he'll be constantly in the back of your car. Originally, I didn't like this because I feel Max is more of a loner. He rarely teams up with people unless he has to, and I would have preferred to scour the wasteland on my own, but you know what, after actually hearing him talk and stuff, he seems pretty cool, so we'll give him a pass and we'll welcome him aboard. Canned food. <laughs> uh, sure beats eating nugget gruel. 
That reminds me of a red dwarf joke. Anyway, let's move. We need to go find some wire, so let's have a quick look in this ominous looking cave. So far, on the PC, the game is running very smooth. Oh, we got dead man. Anything for me? Like, as far as ports go so far, it's been quite excellent. Normally you can tell pretty quickly if a port's going to be bad. So far this is running like a dream. I also want to point out that I am bringing you this Let's Play in 60 FPS, which is a first for me. And it also means it's a bit more intensive on my computer, but we're not really experiencing any frame drops, so yeah. Good news, that is. Ammo. Ah, no wire. So we got some ammo, that's always good. Oh. Hey, what the hell? Could I be deepest in Captain Hall? Such a fucking fuck! Now, now. Shotgun. Use the shotgun to kill enemies at medium and close ranges. Oh god, no, that didn't work. Well, that was easy. Okay, so, one thing to point out, with the shotgun, you cannot move around. You can turn around, but you can't run and gun, from the look of it. Which, you know what, that's fine with me. That is fine with me. This has the, the Shadow of Mordor feel, but Mad Max. That's quite a combination, one that I like very much so. Oh, here we go, ground combat. We're going to have a few tutorial pop-ups early on, but after that I'll turn them off so you guys don't have to see them. But let's try this shotgun. You first. Oh, I oh, killed both of them, okay. Oh god, he got me. Go on, hit me. Trying to try a counter attack. There we go. Can I pick this up? No. There we go. Combat will probably become a bit more fluid for me later on as I get used to everything. Boy, that should be enough. I quite like the little white flashes when you basically do your finishing attack that actually kill someone. In um you may not have noticed, but in Mad Max... Mad Max 2? Yeah, Mad Max... No, it's Mad Max 1, I believe, and Fury Road. Uh, for example, in Fury Road, when Nook's headbutts uh, slit at the very start, he... Uh, there's like a white flash when he headbutts him. And this is also something that was repeated in Mad Max 1, so... How do I get up there? I don't think I can, or if I can climb, I haven't worked it out, so we're just going to sod that off. Let's just keep going. Oh, oh no, 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 I see that. Click some scrap. Oh, optional, collect scrap. Okay, so there is a way out there. You know what, sod it, I'm going to find that out. Maybe I run and jump off there. Kind of makes sense. Not that there's no reason why you couldn't climb this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, side missions for the win. Okay, let's return to Chum. We got the wire. Now, a few things I know about this game. There is a lot of customization in terms of how mad, uh, how mad looks like. Some of his gear he wears. His vehicle. So, this is going to be uh, pretty cool. Wait! Okay, well, that's just what we need. Some random weird guy following us around. I need a car. I really need a car to drive. Still haven't got, quite gotten over Lord Scrotus with the chainsaw to the head. And I don't think I'm going to get over that sight either. Oh. Here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? you tell me you're not. Leaking. Huh? Praise be! 
Praise be! <laughs> Come on, doggy. You're my best friend now. Please do not die a video game death. My buggy's just over here. Follow me! Oh my god, that wasteland. This way! It's beautiful. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello, 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 what is this? Oh, put the dog in the back of the buggy. We can do that. Easy dog. I wonder if the dog comes Easy. with you all the time. Maybe it searches for stuff while you are driving Grab it around. Grab up and go, Saint. The buggy's humble, but she can haul. Oh, yes, we finally got our wheels. Let's go. The sooner I get my car back, the sooner I'll be on my way. Oh, amen! Huh? May we arrive in time to save your black on black from slaughter. These barbarians love to chop. Yes, from that looky look point, we may be able to spot your car. That breaking. We can see the camp from up there without risk of detection. This looks like a place to stash some loot. Is there anything around here? No? Okay. Maybe next time. Over here! Huh? Over! Come look! You yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat and cut those butchers. In for the road. I wanna... Oh, yeah, look. There. Scabber Scrotus is the king. Yeah. He's a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, you see. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I, I don't see the land move around. I'm getting my car back. Wait, wait, please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? Hell tough, hell fast. Oh, very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. Okay, story mission complete, feral man. My car, Lust, reduced to scrap by Scrotus's war boys. I need new wheels and I need them fast. Can this bizarre deranged mechanic help me? I think he can. I think he can indeed. Use binoculars to scout the areas from a distance, alright? So... Yeah, good combo. Perfect place to build a car. Yeah, I imagine that would be everyone's destination, though, to be fair. What is that? Some smoke. I want to say that's Gas Town. That's the Gas Town from the movie, I think. Anyway. Come, come, Saint. Yes, I have much to show you. Ooh, am I driving again? Sweet. Is the dog okay? Yes, he's fine. All right, let's go. Guys, we're going to need a name for what the dog, by the way. You are in the outer graves. Over there is the great white. An ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but we are at the bottom. It doesn't get any lower than this. Oh, this is his place, okay. Not much of a hideout though, this would be like the first place I go snooping around. When you're ready, Saint, my holy hideout awaits! Alright, let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Come, behold! Ah, Alright, let's go, let's have a look. Come, 
Come and see your sight. Huh? A dream. The hallucination become truth. The angel made steel. By the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge joint, blessed be. Huh? There she lies. The magnum opus. There she is. It's a hunky junk. It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Huh? Look. See, here. Divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith. Modded and made to measure. You want some of that old time religion, huh? I got a classic whammy turbo high dog. Huh? Hell yeah. Bulletproof and torture tested. Statically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils. Springs, shocks, and links, too. It's gonna be ice soon. There's nothing less. Yes, we will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. Yes. Come. No time like the prison. Come on, see. We must go. What about the dog? What about the dog? We will liberate her body from a place sad and strange where the chariots of old went to die. A place I call the graveyard. <laughs> but we must go in the dead of night when the buzzard guardians are away on their wild hunt. All right, guys. Time to get a little bit mad in this wasteland.